And it's like, so anyways, using that for education just seems, you know, scary to me. And I also, one of the other things that's got me considering stop using it is just, although it seems difficult in the sense that it's integrated into so much stuff now, was I've been hearing lately about these, the environmental impacts of it, you know, about how these data server farms or whatever it is. It's like, it's, I'd like to look more into it because it's just something that somebody was trying to, that I heard recently that like, basically for every AI answer or chat or start a question, I should say that you ask, it's like using two bottles of water. Now, I don't know, like I said, I there's yeah. Cause those, those data centers, those racks yeah. are liquid cooled. Right. They have to be because the, you know, it's of so hot and all that. And so you've got water usage, but the power, I mean, some of these data centers are going to be so large that in order to power them, they've already had, a, they have approvals for their own nuclear reactors. Wow. Now, yeah. again, in my collecting of data on, on AI and all the various things that are, that are happening, the environmental impacts is part of it. And you've got, I think, what do they call that? It's the open AI. They call it Stargate, I think. Anyway, it's it's one of these, like, collection of these massive data centers. And one article I saw said that it was it going to draw as much power. This, one, this, this data center was going to draw as much power as both New York City and San Diego combined on, like, a hot summer's day. 